Hey there, everyone, this is Al Cowling Klonoa, and last time, like an absolute barbarian, I interrupted the music at the end. So here's the thing. I knew that adding more guys in the in the in the in the in the choir, I guess, the the orchestra. I knew it added more instruments, but I don't know if I ever realized it expanded it. <laughs> How? I don't know. 5-2 between light and darkness, high above Coronia. Yeah, we went up the laser vader. And uh oh shoot, you got you got bobbed here, little buddy. Okay, I thought it was not one of the main priests, but it's just like a priest, which is still bad. So I guess the bird is part of the is part of the uh Ooh, he's a big one. Okay, more right. Mom. Bird is part of you know, the outfit. Too late. Oh, shoot. Oh, no, that's what happened because I took a day's break. This is terrible. <laughs> terrible timing on my end. Shape to Phantom. Oh. We're gonna. He wants to wake the waker. The, wake, the waker wake the sleeper. Okay, that's uh That is no good, I say, evidently. Wonder if at some point a child read that line it was like, wait, eclipse are bad! Oh no! I don't know. So, I mean, five two might be a long one. I don't know. Five one was kind of long. It had, it had like spokes. Is there a wall here? There is. It's hard to tell. No, I okay. I can see it now. All right, here we go. There's clearly like a switch here. Oh, but it's an enemy. Ooh, that smiling fish there is a very dangerous guy. He's just kind of like oh what. Oh, okay, so we need to have the door. Wow. So it's not, uh, okay, so it looks like what? Oh, no, 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 it is just time based. Cool, we're learning. We're, uh, what? Okay. Is it just invincible? What about when it's qua time? The time of qua. Of liver? It's liver time! Alright, here we get. Regular guys for regular eggs. Oh, my guy just comes up here. Ooh, so they did. Okay, so these are like what enemies. So if I want to chuck a guy, uh, they're transformed. Neat. All right. Well, here we go doing things. A big pipe juts out of the wall, burning things. Wah. Oh shoot. Well, if you mess it up, you can always do that. Feather. Uh, okay. For a while there, I saw it shim, and I was like, wait, was there an enemy in that feather? No. It's just that the, um, they're priests, it looks like, and they're kind of like detailed little guys. Now it's a big invincible fish. Don't mess in with the sardines in your dish. Checkpoint. Welcome to Spooky Town. Wahoo is what we do. Alright, so I can use you to go beyond here, and then here to- okay, well, that's great. I, oh, but I want that platform if I want to visit that door, which is probably gonna have something delicious. Okay, here we go. Move, platform! I believe in you! I mean, it's, that's just a job. Ah, right, whoa! This is like the hyper prize, except, you know, you kind of need to go here if you want the man, so it's kind of funny. All right, well here we go through this constructed donut of a shape. I'm now at a lower section of this gate. I'm gonna pop this egg, nothing you can do. I'm gonna get a hell that I literally just lost to pop that, which is funny. Okay, so now yeah, we got invincible fish and dinosaurs, so I have to survive. But then the chance can be heard, then we're now outside, and it's quite a guy. What What does that mean? I don't know. Sometimes I say things. So, do you think this is progress, or is it bonus? It's a bo- oh. 
Okay, you gotta kind of do this here if you want a guy. <laughs> Pop a balloon, and then the pipe blows out a plume, and then I fell like a dummy, and I have to retrace my steps. Here we go, I did that. <laughs> that is a factuality. It's what the world is all about. Elevator! Hit that switch. Yeah, I gotta turn it on. Just get a slap with Huey and the Louis. And now we're up a level. I can jump over a fence and it's fine. I saw a little steam and that is pretty scary. I am not ready to die. Alright, so this is a thing. But why is that a thing? Do you need a guy? Uh, and you pop back out armored? That's annoying. And here we are, and I messed it up. I'm gonna get Mr. Multiplier, yo, what up? I don't wanna get hurt. But because of Mr. Multiplier, I played riskily for no real gains. Oh, jeez, that platform is scary. All right, they just kind of give you a one-up. See, when it, when it happens in Sonic, whenever a game has a free one-up that's unmissable on the path, I am always quick to point out that that feels kind of like... Whoa, hi, bird. You know, it just kind of feels like the level designers, like, just kind of gave up. And so instead of just making it good, they just make it so that, you know, dying is less punishing. But that is not what I believe with this game. Oh, this is a awkward, like, ketchup and butter. Um, will a bird be summoned here soon? Oh, yeah, because I can't bomb any. If I just take the hit? So I think the correct thing to do, then, is, like, I could probably just take the damage, but I don't want to do that. So we go here, we end up here, then summon Crow! And not, whoa. And then nighttime, daytime happens. So you got kind of like a little timer. Summon Crow! Keep summoning those crows. I'm gonna miss grabbing them. Alright, so now, like even if I grab one now, yeah, it's gonna be too late. So we're gonna keep doing this. It's fine. It's totally okay. That happy little fish. Like, it's kind of hard to gauge distances. Like, depth? There you go, did it. Alright, sitting here, I gotta wait. It's pretty good. So, my goal, what I'm going to try to do here, is hit the bitty eye and miss. Alright, you know what? I'm done. I'm just gonna tank it. I can't! I was hit twice there. So, I kind of have to hope I can make it in time. I did not make it in time. I'm probably... okay. Where am I? Oh, I need to get the guy again. That's not a one-up to full heal. So, the smart thing to do probably would have been to not grab that. Oh, this is honestly a little frustrating to me. Feels like, like, yeah, I don't have... Like, this is silly. I just got that. Like, and, and like, I, dude? When they were gonna move? Okay, so now I can, I can just kind of hang out here. Because I can just grab this guy when he, okay, I'll be able to. Yeah, just get out of here. Okay, no, you need to also unmask this guy. So you gotta do this little carry a crow here thing again. Oh, but a little guy's easier to hit. You can just go like, eh. So, really? Whoa, you cannot be faster and more efficient than that. Legally. Okay, okay, so if I had popped the little guy... So that's my fault, I guess, for focusing on the big guy first. A lesson is possibly learned. Oh, now we get to play with springs that feel bad, though. Whoa! Alright, so, yeah, there's a thing over there, but something has to something first. I can go up here, 
and end up with the bird and the guy. What about over here? Like, there's a door there, but that feels like progress. And down feels like progress. Oh, I don't know. So you're here to enable this. And I have done that. Okay, and I need to press whatever switch I can. Oh, wait, I have to bob that, but that's a ceiling. It's not background. I don't know, I can still uh, probably carry this bird through this. Let's find out. Oh, it'll switch. Squishy bird! Song of my people. And then you get here, and you get like all the prizes. It's like they know. Alright, and now we're back to how we were when things were starting and relaxed. So, there's an up path and there's a down path. Uh -huh. But this seems like more annoying to get to, so it's more likely to be prized. Honestly, I don't know. And here's a switch here. I'll be able to get, to get down there anyway. You just have some prizes. Here is just a treasure room with lights and tears. Sure. We're gonna call them what they are. Alright, and this leads to the same place either way. But, you know, because I took the time to take the path, I got a 1-up and a little guy. I'm more interested by the little guy, but that's what it is anyway. I'm just kind of looking around here. Alright, we got invincible fish enemies. There's an egg that needs to pop you. Hey, I'm full of little guys already. Well, how did that happen? I don't know. Have a heal. I mean, I'm not complaining. I'm just genuinely surprised. Yeah, there's a passage there. So, I don't know. Wow, yeah, good point. Oh, shoot. Okay. Now, you need to. This is terrible! I made a mistake. You need to hit that switch first by throwing a crow at it. I didn't do that. Somehow, I just didn't parse that that way. Here we go, here we go, on a path of some. I'm just. You can tell the confidence I have around these little saucer platforms. It's very so. I'm very good at masking the fact that I don't want anything to do with them, I think. Now we need to wait for the switch to carry over. So we did that. The walls are jiggling! They're made of fiasco material. Alright, I'm full of I'm full of guys, so you know what? It's fine. I can just take a walk and pop the switch all day. Can't wait to rise to my destiny! Or just the floor above. <laughs> Same thing, Kaida. Here's another prize of Palooza. But you need a guy to get up there. Okay. I'll consider that for my information. We're still outside again. What did I just do? Uh, I released it. Okay, so there's gonna be a series of switches to unlock a guy there. I don't know what that's gonna do. That is what we are going to do. All right, yeah, go on the chimney and give it a slap. Slap given. Ah, this one we don't get a little video. A little video. Level cutscene. Anything below? I kind of dig this. It's like they're sort of, not weaponizing, but they're sort of like playing along with the, you know, the very basic thing of exploring that the game does. Except, you know, like I call it weaponized, quote unquote, because you have to do it. Like, it's not to find a fun thing, it's just, no, it's what you gotta do to, to make it happen. Wahoo! Where's land? Like, I did all that to free you. Oh, and then I bring you back. Got it. Oh, shoot. I messed up, but that's fine. And yeah, and we're gonna go up there. Interdoor travel. I keep forgetting. Like, it just doesn't feel natural to me to bring uh, an object through doors like that, but I think that's just a Mario in me speaking. Well, I just fell here and it's kind of scary Going up before and eating spaghetti But we might not eat spaghetti But that's okay, we got coin money We can buy spaghetti Do you think Dreamland has spaghetti? This video is now about spaghetti! Alright! I love spaghetti! I ate some yesterday! Unbelievable! What a concept!
Please write your favorite spaghetti experience in the comments below! Make sure to ring your spaghetti! Alright. The top, but I don't know what that means. Oh jeez, he's just there. It's a dark spirit. Sounded like my eternal jerk. Which, yeah! <laughs> uh, big boss... Boss from Kirby 1. Uh, no, Kirby's Adventure. Not too happy. The Polygon Man in the world of sprites. It's kind of neat. To be fair, that does sound like it would be a not, not optimal experience. It's just that, I, I, un Whoa. I understand why he would be angry, but it's just, you know, it's not fair to the inhabitants either. So I don't think Nightmare in Kirby had a lady in his space cloak. He's so stretchy! Alright, this might be like the final confrontation with Joka. Why is everything layering too? It's very something. Alright, we're on this big floating ring. He's now Balloon Man. Yeah, he went from a sprite to a polygon. That's what happens. Can I grab these? I can. Can I do that? He'll punch him. So you have to go at a place where he's not gonna be a butt. Yeah, there you go. Like, you gotta time yourself with this little protection orb. But he, these sky steps, though, he's clearly having too much fun with this. He loves being a polygon. Alright, zoom something. I don't know what. Gonna time my button press. Yes, I did. Then everyone got crystallized. I can't grab no more. Okay. Uh, I don't. Whoa, you're a turtle. Space dragon turtle dinosaur. It's gonna take a bite of you and make you sore. Big spell. Something is happening. Oh. Then the big claw swipe. It is fascinating. Okay, so that's just where the claws on. Okay, I don't know, I'm playing the piano here. Check it out, playing the piano. So what happens when, like, this prism happens? So yeah, okay, so don't go where it's green? I don't know. Don't panic, though. Seems to be the play of the game. Oh, I'm playing Q Cuber. Got it. Understood. I get that. Big ol' claw on my back. It kinda sucks, but that's okay. Make the world yellow for me. Well, for the world at large, I guess, too. Well, and then, oh shoot. Alright, the whole world is yellow! Oh, he's fidgeting. He's transforming. Okay, so I might die in this fight because I did not caught on to that. For a little bit. I could have been more efficient, is what I'm saying. Planoa, a game of efficiency. Oh, I got hurt there. Okay, yeah, like I was saying, a game of efficiency is... Hit you in the face, that is pretty great. Though everything in the world is tilting. It's kind of distracting. Don't really like it. And I missed you? Just forget it! Now we're going into another crazy phase. Gonna transform and then it's gonna be all over the place. I'm gonna have to convert the floor. Okay, it's the same turtle man. Plesiosaurus. Plesiosaur your face. Everything is red. All right, so I think the right decision is not to do that. Okay, it's fine. We'll do it, we'll do it again. That's fine. Yeah, I'll have to restart. That makes sense. I don't want that to happen. Really? That count is hitting your hand? Shoot! I wasn't holding up somehow. Alright. Uh, okay. This is going... This feels like it went worse than my first stab at this boss. Ah, uh, whatever.
So after two pretty, like, not good attempts, uh, this one's doing all right. You know what? Even though it's the failure sound, it's still funny. And you know what? If you're gonna make failure imminent, at least make it funny. Yeah, see, but that's, like, it's too far. Yeah, you have to anticipate. You have to anticipate. And I anticipated. Now he says, Ugh, girl. This is choking on his spit. Oh, he's gonna fall somewhere, huh? No, I just outright killed him. Alright, cool. Klonoa not joking around. His voice is very uncomfortable. Damn. Yeah. Like, this is right. That, that is like if uh, one day Kirby was like, I'm just gonna outright merc Meta Knight. Like in Zelda, uh, Zelda, in Kirby Adventure. Sweet video at 15 frames per second. It's pretty cool though. Yeah, so that's Water Town, that's Wind Town. Every place is getting lasered. This is like extremely PlayStation RPG. <laughs> the lost Final Fantasy. Like, 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 it's not just me, right? There's a specific aesthetic for RPG FMVs on the PlayStation. This looks pretty rad, though. Fascinating. It's fascinating that's whoa. He looks so mad. It's like, oh no, he's gonna like bite my arm up or something. <laughs> Yo. So I guess uh, off screen while we were platforming, this little friend was training. Oh yeah. We got a new object right here. That does not sound like a song finishing. That was kind of... Kind of ran out of steam. That's because he still ain't got enough people. You no, know what? It's pretty neat. That Crystal Space Castle looks like absolutely fantastic. It's also so colorful. It's not something you'd like often associate with like evil super bad guy nightmare. And I like that. I like that quite a bit. Yes, I will save my data, and I'm gonna save it here. Next time, World Sex. This was just, like, a ton of fun. It's always is, except that boss. I mean, the boss was not, like, was not not fun. I just struggled. I don't know. It happens sometimes.